Happy Saturday, everyone. Uh, good to see all of you. Uh, most of you know today we start out on a 40-day social media fast. The family here at 2910 Canal Terrace, we're starting something new, trying something new. The Lord just laid it on my heart uh, that this was the fast that we needed to do 40 days out from our uh, journey production. Uh, so in the midst of fasting social media, let's be praying for the, the journey. Let's be trying to connect again with our family, our friends, our neighbors. But most importantly, maybe it's time to reconnect with the Lord and just get back to some of the basics. But today as we start out, I want to read a passage of scripture from Luke chapter 18, verse 19. I want to read from the New Living Translation. This is Jesus speaking. He is having a conversation with a young man. And Jesus says, why do you call me good? Jesus asked him, only God is truly good. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the constant struggle, the constant battle between good and bad or good and evil. And quite frankly, it's just the time and the day that we live in now. C.S. Lewis was quoted, he wrote, there is no neutral ground in the universe. Every square inch, every split second is claimed by God and counterclaimed by Satan. And you can just sense the struggle that's going on in our world today. And there's so much truth in those words that C.S. Lewis wrote. Can you sense, can you feel, can you see the struggle of good and bad? So, is social media good? Yes? No? Is social media bad? No? Yes? It really all depends on the use and the direction of our usage when it comes down to social media. God desires for social media to be used for good and to spread life and love and health and freedom, while Satan, on the other hand, wants to use it to distract, distort, and pervert. That's the struggle between good and bad. Remember, social media isn't the enemy. Satan is. However, social media is another battlefield that we must navigate through. In this text of Luke 18, verse 19, Jesus is having a conversation with a rich young religious leader. And the young leader calls Jesus good. And in those biblical days when someone would call someone good or something good, Good was a title that was reserved for God and God alone. Good wasn't reference to a man. And in this text, in other words, when this young leader calls Jesus good, he is actually saying, I see something in you that looks like God. He is telling Jesus, I see something in you that I've read about. I see something in you that looks like God. But what I want you to understand now, seeing is not always believing. This young leader saw Jesus, but he didn't believe in Jesus. He saw Jesus, but he wasn't willing to put down the things he desired and to follow after Jesus. Believing comes by opening oneself up to someone or something and allowing our lives to be influenced by what we open ourselves up to. When it comes to social media, we are opening our lives up to a whole lot of stuff. And sometimes we do a pretty good job of not allowing the things on social media, uh, the darkness, the negativity, or the fight between good and bad to affect us. But sometimes we are affected whether we realize it or not. And the intention of this social media fast is to set the one that is truly good back in his rightful place and focus on our individual relationship with Jesus Christ and to put down some of the unnecessary distractions of today. So the challenge as we start out on this fast is to let's put down some of the distractions and let's just focus back on the one that is truly good Put him back in his rightful place and remember that God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Have a great Saturday, everyone. I'll see you real soon.